right, so I was just going to give you a quick look at the trailer we are selling. It's the Dutchman Classic 1993. We bought it last year and uh, did a whole bunch of work to it. So we're just going to kind of run around the outside here and show you a couple of things we did. The awning was in great shape, still is. Storage is there. Works great. Love it. We added a brand new hot water heater. This is a six gallon tank, runs off propane. Added that in there, everything works fine there. We added new LED lights here on the back. This is a storage unit here, a little storage area that actually goes to the back of the bathroom in there. And then on this side, not a whole lot we did on the outside of it. We patched up a couple of places on top just needed some wear and tear Microwave but that's works. about it this is the electrical you pull the uh, cord out of there this is to the back of the refrigerator which all works fine you just keep the tires covered up so the sun doesn't get them that's your um, water connection city water this is the external vent to the stove exhaust all new LED lighting and then all over the here that's for cable we haven't used that this is the furnace I replaced both the new furnace motor and the furnace control board which are both brand new so the furnace works great and then we also added a 5,000 pound jacks to each corner and so you can level it nice and easily there's some data for you camp chairs, whatever you need. So the, these are the axles, I think, the how much axles they uh, will be able to tell. So gross vehicle weight would be 7,000 pounds total uh, would be the max that it can carry. So we actually pull this thing with our um, Toyota 4Runner, works just fine. I think we're probably, once it's totally full and maxed out, we're probably about 4,500 pounds to 5,000 pounds, depending on how much we got in there, if it's full of water and all that jazz. In here we have two 30-pound uh, propane tanks. I can't really pull that off with one hand, but they work fine. Two batteries back here. Uh, you've got a level here to make sure you're, you're level when you're camping. This comes down to protect the windows when you're driving down the road. And then also we close those at night. Uh, they act yeah. as a shade. A quick and I'll take you inside. Out here is a little bit more storage. That's where we keep our gray water and black water hoses. Inside, we replaced uh, all the upholstery and foam. So this is brand new upholstery, brand new foam. And then we painted the inside as well. So all this has been repainted. I also replaced this whole uh, vent up here with a brand new one. And this is in the down configuration. I'm actually going to pop this up and I'll show you what it's like when the dinette is up. So there you go. That's what it's like if you're going to be sitting there eating. You can sit around there and then obviously pop it down if you're going to sleep there. And then you can also sleep here as well because this folds down so you have two different places you can sleep. Uh, more storage under here. Over here we've got the sink. Double sink. That's nice to you know cook and prep on. Storage under here. Lots of storage. And drawer space. More storage up here. This is the AC unit, which works great. No issues, that thing we've used in the middle of Nebraska and it just blows you out, it's awesome. Stove works, we haven't used it a ton, but it does work. Top stove obviously works, the oven I should say, we haven't used it a ton, I think we kicked it on a couple of times and it works fine, no issues. Microwave works, you gotta plug it in, the, well the whole trailer needs to be plugged in. Refrigerator runs off electric or propane, both work. No issues. This is the, uh, all your electrics go down here. There's more storage underneath this thing, more storage underneath there. We added a new thermostat here. All new LED lighting in all of the, the lights so that you're drawing a lot less power. 
in a regular incandescent light bulb. And then we also added new um, fire alarms, new uh, carbon dioxide alarms. Painted in here, that's your toilet. We added this whole shelving unit here, so you have tons of storage back here. It goes all the way back, so you can store all kinds of stuff here. Camp chairs, whatever you need. And then this is the shower. And uh, yeah, everything works. Everything works with the shower, no issue there. Uh, I added this fantastic fan. Uh, so it pulls all the moisture and stinkiness when you're doing your business Sucks it out there and uh, yeah that thing even I mean it can almost work as an AC and it just get the, the airflow You know going because it really really acts like a wind tunnel when you kick that thing all the way on Got some storage underneath here Storage up here Yeah, we did a ton of work to this whole trailer to get it all sort of cleaned up and uh, a little bit more livable. It's nice because you can tow this thing with a regular car. You don't have to tow it with a with a big truck. Well, not a car, but tow it with an SUV. Um, and yeah, it's a quick, fast little trailer to pull around. Again, everything, this is the winter time, so it's all been winterized, but everything was working last summer when we took it out, no issues. Should be a nice little Nice little camper, should you want to buy it.